Hello, we are the Zephyrite team from Gaziantep University. This year we are here with you to represent our university and our country at this year's challenge. Let's meet the team members of the Zephyrite team. Kazım Aydın, a third year aerospace engineering student, is our team's pilot and also the mechanical team captain. İsmail Esaraktaş, a first year of aerospace engineering student, is responsible for the image processing codes of the software team. Batuhan Çağlayan, a third year of aerospace engineering student, is a software team captain and front-end developer. Hüseyin İnce, a first year aerospace engineering student, is the ground control operator and back-end developer. Eylül Çalı, a second year aerospace engineering student, is the general team captain and the member of the mechanical team. For this year's channel mission requirements, we designed our vehicle appropriately due to the weight of the airdrop it will carry and size of the runway our drone needed to be lightweight yet fast. Therefore, we designed a vehicle that weights 14 levers. Our vehicle weighing 3.8 pounds in total with the mission mechanism and airdrops includes a special mechanism made to gently land each payload. To ensure our vehicle maintains stability and control autonomous flight in the air, it sustained its stability in the air with the PID we calculated flying in altitude mode. To receive information about vehicle from the ground, we use a ground station software interface and codes written by us, which allows us to receive information from the vehicle every minute. It is essential for our vehicle to land the airdrops it will release in the correct place using image processing and machine learning. Therefore, the image transmitted to the vehicle's control system from the ground is very important. The image we receive with and without a gimbal during a flight show. Us that using a gimbal during flight will have a critical impact on image processing performance. Thanks to the combination of all these factors, our vehicle is ready to successfully complete the mission. When we look at the mission mechanism in detail, it consists of a holder for the shafts of the DC motors, a ray spool to wind the rope we will use to release the airdrops, and a shaft to lower the pulley system in a controlled manner. When the entire mechanism is assembled, the airdrops water bottles are found tied with ropes. According to our airdrop test, we, our developed mechanism was releasing the airdrops too quickly and uncontrollably in the initial test. Additionally, the rope we used at certain heights was not winding around the spool, which was clearly stated as a requirement for landing on the ground during the competition. Therefore, we later increased the friction force and shot performance of the mechanism to ensure the airdrops landed on the ground in a shorter time and in a controlled manner. Machine learning a subset of artificial intelligence is a powerful tool that enables computers to learn from data without explicit programming. It employs iterative algorithms to uncover hidden patterns within datasets, facilitating remarkable feats of analysis and prediction. The foundation of any successful machine learning endeavor lies in meticulous data collection and pre-processing imaging. Pre -processing. Imaging gathering a diverse array of examples, each representing objects we aim to detect. These datasets must be carefully cleaned and formatted, ensuring they are free from noise and structured in a way that optimizes the potential for effective training. Once the data is prepared, the next step is to train objective detection model. This involves feeding the model with labeled data, where, where each object is meticulously annotated with bounding box coordinates and class labels. Through iterative optimization techniques, the model gradually learns to recognize and localize objects within images or videos, a remarkable achievement in computational learning. As the model emerges from training, it undergoes rigorous evaluation using a separate validation dataset. Metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, and advanced scores are used to illuminate its performance. Based on these insights, fine-tuning of hyperparameters is conducted to refine the model effectiveness further. With training and evaluation complete, the model is ready for deployment in real-world scenarios. It stands poised to process input images or videos, swiftly predicting the presence and location of objects. The crucial step to unlocks a myriad of applications, from surveillance systems to autonomous vehicles, each benefiting from the power of object detection. Yet the journey doesn't end here. Machine learning models demand continuous monitoring and updating to remain effective over time. As new data emerges or environmental factors shift, the model must adapt, undergoing retraining or fine-tuning. Through vigilant oversight, we ensure our model remains a stalwart ally in the realm, realm of object detection. In the realm of object detection, especially with drone captured images, additional steps are necessary for effective model training. These steps include precise labeling of objects within images and true data analysis, and prepare the dataset appropriately to model ingestion. 
Properly labeled and processed datasets are essential for the model to produce accurate results in real-world scenarios, highlighting the significance of, its, of this foundational step in training object detection models. In the vehicle design, the most important thing we focused on was to keep the motor truss system strong without increasing the total weight and to match the current going to the motors with lighter batteries. For this reason, we used team motors of 400 kW motors. They are suitable for us because they were lighter than the other motors and their torque levels met the requirements of the vehicle. To increase the truss system and fly more stably, we used 17 times 5.8 inch propellers. Since they are all made of carbon fiber, we were able to reduce the total load. Since the maximum current drawn by the motor is 30 amps, we, are, we used 40 amp electronic speed controllers as a safety measure. Our batteries are 6S and 13,000 milliamperes, so they were compatible with each other. Thanks to the gimbal, we were able to scan the image processing areas on the ground without interrupting and without missing any. We increased the efficiency of image processing with the high resolution PIHQ camera we used inside the gimbal. The Jetson Nano we chose for its powerful processor outperformed the Raspberry Pi we used in the past. We eliminated the heating and freezing problems that would occur during the processing of dataset used for image processing and YOLO machine training, which consists of approximately 16,000 photos through its cooling system. With a high transmission range, we were able to take our vehicle to high range during the flight thanks to telemetry, which improved the performance of our RFD 900 telemetry in mapping and communication. We were able to send interrupted data to the ground station thanks to its high data rate and strong connection stability features. The receiver of our Paladin P18 controller, the FlySky FTR10, allows us to continue communication with the vehicle at no distance without interruption. In addition, we will be able to assign different commands to our mission mechanism for possible pilot situations thanks to extend PVM channels. The HER3 GPS is a high-precision GNSS system that also supports RTG navigation mode and is built with CIM protocol. It is also designed to be dust-proof and splash-proof with an STM32532 processor. The HER3 provides faster processing speed and better reliability. The Cube Orange Plus standard set features a high-performance HD processor and 1019 MHz ADSB receiver from UAVionics. The Cube Orange Plus has upgraded EMUs with STM33H757 MCU. The autopilot can be set up automatically avoid aircraft that are detected in exclusion zones set by the pilot. Previously known as Pixel 2.1, when all this equipment and mission mechanism come together, our vehicle is formed. Except for the mission mechanism, almost all components of the vehicle are made of carbon fiber. This ensures both durability and lightness of the vehicle. The mission mechanism is made of ABS and PLA materials. Whose durability have we have measured and whose drawings belongs to us? While assembling all these connections to our vehicle, the voltage and amperage values of each electronic components are rechecked during operation. First, after placing the orange cube on the frame, the GPS slider and receiver connected to the cube are attached. Then, after soldering the ESC to the power distribution model, the communication between ESCs and motors with the cube is established. Finally, after connecting the cube, the assembly process is completed with the mechanism belonging to the mission mechanism. The reason we are using RFE 900 telemetry is that it has multiple cones. As starting with long range capability, it supports communication over kilometers in open areas and suitable for long range control. High data rates provide fast data transmission, ideal for application requiring high data rates. Strong connection stability, which offers reliable and uninterrupted communication. Multiple mode and frequency support flexible communication across different modes and frequency bands. And in addition to this, it has low power consumption, efficient power management for prolonged battery life. When we took this thing into account, we chose to use RFD 900 telemetry because of it has transmission rate, long range capability, reliability, and low power consumption. The FlySky Paladin PL18 is chosen as the controller for the aircraft. The FlySky Paladin PL18 stands out, out from many other controls on the market for several reasons. It, has, it features a touch screen, high number of channels, long range capabilities, programmable buttons and switches, and support for multiple communication protocols. These factors collectively contribute to its advanced functionality and versatility compared to the other controllers and available.
Autotune. Autotune is a flight mode used in UAVs to automatically optimize the PID settings. These settings control how the drone responds to user input and disturbance to the flight. Autotune aims to automatically adjust the stabilize P, rate P, and D parameters. The goal is to achieve higher response without causing significance overshoot during the flight. The P component measures the current error. Integral. The I component calculates the accumulated error over time. This component continuously corrects error and stabilizes the system. It is particularly effective in situations where errors consistently occur. Derivative. The D component detects rapidly changing errors and it is sensitive to sudden speed changes and prevent overreaction. And also it brings system into balance more quickly. Safety precautions. We use strong Velcro tape to avoid any problems in terms of battery and flight safety. We used propeller cover to take precautions against any accidents that may occur during work. We also choose to use XT90 connectors because XT60 is not safe at maximum engine power. We use a current breaker to cut off the current momentarily in case of a possible emergency and to prevent further damage. We provided a weight advantage by using the shaft part of the DC motor in the mission mechanism. After ground checks are completed, the drone becomes ready to fly with all safety protocols applied. Mission training For mission training, various tests are conducted to measure the reflexes and accuracy of the mission mechanism. With nearly 250 waypoint data, accuracy rates up to 92% are achieved. This indicates that, except in extraordinary circumstances, the mission mechanism will operate correctly at the desired coordinates. The mission mechanism has undergone various updates to eliminate the 8% margin of error. The aim is to reduce the error margin to zero and to land the air drops in the shortest and safest possible time. The competition requirements are to autonomously drop 8 of water bottles from a height of 75 feet onto correct location identified by number, letter, shape, and the color. As seen here, the pet bottle has been dropped very controlled and slowly to the desired coordinates. Our drone, which can successfully complete a 30-minute flight to prevent a possible fail-safe situation in the middle of the runway, is ready for competition as the flight area is quite large. Flight tests We conducted various flight tests with the drone for a perfect airdrop release process. We performed 20 of these with the, without the mission mechanism attached. We also conducted 34 flight tests with the mission mechanism. Thus, through vibration measurements after each airdrop release, which will reduce the weight, we try to maintain image processing efficiency regardless of the drone weight. Stability test, which is a hazardous test. For the takeoff test, the drone is lifted smoothly from the ground and ascent initially slowly to avoid sudden movements. Then stability is checked. If we encounter any abnormality or imbalance occurs during takeoff, an immediate landing is performed. This takeoff test is repeated several times until the drone can take off stably, stably and safely. LiDAR LiDAR is a light detection and ranging technology is commonly used for remote sensing and obstacle detection. LiDAR can scan its surroundings using laser beams and measure the reflections of these beams. By calculating the difference of the reflected beams, it determines the distance. These data points can be used to create 3D maps and detect objects. It can be also used for obstacle avoidance. Obstacle avoidance is very crucial for autonomous systems like drones. LiDAR sensors are used to detect obstacles in the environment 
Also, the data is proce processed to identify obstacles and compute avoidance vectors. These vectors help adjust autonomous devices' path to avoid collisions. LiDAR-based obstacle avoidance algorithms can be tested in simulation environments. Also, it can be tested on real-world testing on drones and robots should be conducted in the controlled areas. Summary. As a result of all tests and analyzers, our vehicle is capable of image processing, autonomous flight, carrying 5 airdrops, obstacle avoidance, an average flight time of 30 minutes, successfully completing all tasks in the competition, content with an average weight of 14.5 livers. Our drone, which can successfully complete a 30 minute flight to prevent a possible fail safe situation, in the middle of the runway, is ready for competition as the flight area is quite large.